The role of fluoride in oral health is to prevent caries and to prevent tooth decay and so it's generally added to drinking water and also to toothpaste because when it's ingested in the right amounts as suggested by the health organizations it strengthens the bonds of the chemicals involved in making the teeth, making the crystals and so when the tooth wraps into the oral cavity it's a stronger enamel. Dental fluorosis is a developmental defect that affects tooth enamel and it's caused by the excessive ingestion of fluoride during childhood and results in pitting, results in poor mineralization, increased porosity, all of which increases the risk of caries and tooth decay. Our study provides a novel mechanism to understand fluorosis. We focus in on how the enamel cells handle the stresses associated with fluoride. What we found was that exposing dental enamel cells to high concentrations of fluoride, it affected the levels of calcium that we find within the cell. We also found that the mitochondria, which are the main sources of energy for the cells, the mitochondrial function was also affected. However, we found that non-dental cells did not show these defects. The prevalence of fluorosis it depends on the geographical region that, that we're discussing. For example, in North America, it's more prevalent in the southern regions of the central part of the United States. Colorado, for example, the groundwaters there contain high levels of fluoride. We use high concentration of fluoride in our experiments because we wanted to mimic in vitro, so in a cell culture dish, the equivalent of what would it be for a person or the cells of a person living in an area with high levels of fluoridation in the water. 